My name is Michael Caruso, I'm from Group 70, and today I'm going to be demoing our final project for our coding class. Um, the, main pro the main problem we tried to solve with this project is to eliminate college players leaving college too early for the NBA. Uh, we were able to solve this problem, if you can see by this poster, we have two sort of different code sets of our, of our project. So on the left here, the first part of our project would be to take hypothetical stats that any college player or any player that's interested in what they think they could make in the NBA, they would take stats that they think they could average in an NBA season, say for example 10 points, 5 assists, and 2 rebounds. They would enter those statistics into our program, and then we would take them, run them through our database of data that we were able to find for all NBA players and all of their stats. Our program then takes those stats that you've entered and matches you with the top five players that match your stats most closely. Now, once our program has found the top five players that your stats match most closely, it's going to look at a different column in our data frame and find those top five players' salaries, then add those salaries up and divide by five to get your average NBA salary that you could expect with the points and stats that you've entered. Now the second part of our, pre our project is to simply run through a list of colleges and universities that any college player might play for and then output what you could expect to make first year graduation out of those universities. So say for example if you can follow our poster you went to Syracuse University, our program would take that information that you've entered, run it through our database and output you the number that you could expect to be making first year after graduation graduating from Syracuse University. Our, our hope is that our rough estimation of an NBA salary, along with the physical data that we have from each college and university after graduation salaries, we're hoping that these two numbers can offer players and anyone interested in using our program a different approach to whether or not players should stay in college and get their degree or leave and make money in the NBA. I'm going to quickly describe to you how our code operates and runs. So if you remember from our poster, the first part of our project is to enter the stats that you think you could be averaging in an NBA season. So if you can see here, this says enter the number of points you think you could average in an NBA regular season, so we'll put 10. Enter the amount of assists, we'll put 4. And for rebounds, we'll also put 4. Now, as you can see at the bottom here, this put output $7.3 million that could, we could be expected to make in the NBA if we could average these stats over the course of a season. And now, the second part of our project is to input the school or university that we play for or want to play for and our program is going to tell you how much you could be expecting to make at that school or university. So, if we scroll down to this part of our project, it'll ask you, please enter the college or university you play for. So for this purpose, we'll put Syracuse. And as we can see, your expected average salary first year after graduation from Syracuse will be $55,000, which is pretty high. Now, as we scroll down, we just have some other data that we've found throughout the course of this project. These are the, the top 25 schools that produce the most NBA players, starting with Kentucky and going all the way down to Villanova. As you can see as we scroll down, this is just a visual representation of that data, with Kentucky obviously having the most NBA players at 25, UCLA at about 16. That is our project. We hope you enjoy it. We hope that it solves a problem. We feel that it does. And thank you for listening.